Miles Swivel News fans, a very, very well done uh, hit piece against North Korea was put out by nknews.org by an author named Thayer. Now, as I said, this was very, very well done and could even confuse people who were at least on the fence about North Korea. Now, what it goes on to do is describe, I believe it is three people who had, or at least the handful of people that were linked to either white supremacy or cults that were involved with uh, North Korean groups, or some of them sometimes even leading some pro-North Korean groups inside the U.S. And that because of that, therefore, anyone who's pro-DPRK in the United States must be some kind of white supremacist or a cultist. I know, a complete non sequitur right off the bat. If you support an ideology, therefore, anyone else who does it is exactly the same as you. I'm a Canadian, so therefore, every other Canadian is a communist. Essentially, it's, this, it's the same line of illogical thinking. Now, I actually do want to go into this. Um, the meat of their argument is inherently uh, very dishonest. It's full of a lot of half-truths that are twisted around to say what it is they want them to say. Now, for some of the people uh, who came, were, became, you know, white supremacists and stuff like that, for example, the one guy, Cup, um, he left the Juche Songan Society, uh, a pro-North Korean group, because of his white supremacist views. Yeah, he turned into a white supremacist and then started supporting radical Islam and a whole bunch of stuff like that. He ended up actually leaving uh, the, the pro-North Korean groups because of that. And so, therefore, North Korea supports these things. I mean, that makes no sense. That's literally along the lines of saying a company has an employee. That employee does something illegal, which goes against the company policy, something that it doesn't actually do. They fire the person for doing it, and therefore that means the company supports what they did. I mean, in law terms, that would be called slander, and you'd get sued for something like that. So basically we have somebody who follow, starts following an idea that is antithesis to Juche, like white supremacy, and the person ends up leaving, so therefore the DPRK supports that. I mean, it's an absolutely ridiculous argument. Now, let me give you another one. Some of the people there ended up becoming involved in the Rural People's Party, which, uh, which is what ended up being with uh, Jim Jones and those uh, nut jobs. And one of the things that they like to say is that they support the Juche idea, and some of them even describe themselves as Maoist, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever because you would kind of think a cult would be would is anti dialectical in other words they just ran around saying i like this idea of peasants having power over their own lives so therefore i'm a mouse no that's not a that's frankly idiotic if we were to actually follow that line of logic then we would also determine that all peasant rebellions against kings that happened in the middle ages were therefore mouse but they were peasants trying to get control of their own land so therefore, they're Maoists. Of course, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, because Maoism is a social science, not just peasants re rebelling against a higher authority, which is what they're fraudulently making it out to be. I mean, for a lay person, they might miss this, but for someone who's supposed to be a professional writer like Thayer, or someone who's a professional propaganda outlet like uh, NK News, well, actually, because they did it on purpose. They would notice that, and they would know that, which is why they're making such a ridiculously dishonest argument. So what we have is a bunch of people who leave an organization because either being kicked out or leave voluntarily because their beliefs now no longer match that. That means the DPRK supports them. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. Now, let's, let's, let's do this in comparison. Look at white supremacy. It's a right-wing ideology, and they themselves even acknowledge it's a right-wing ideology because a left-leaning ideology is all people trying to force us to be equal, and that's scary, blah, blah, blah. So it's a right-wing ideology. Now, how many of these right-wingers are completely on the side of capitalism? Well, pretty much all of them, actually. So what we have is the white supremacist groups 
in terms of the U.S. or even Russia for that matter, who number in the millions and frequently tens of millions of people, they all support capitalism. So what can, conclusion can we draw from this? Anyone who supports capitalism is therefore racist. Because we're using the same logic that's used against the DPRK. And it's completely incorrect, and it's a, it's just a horribly flawed position to take. But that's essentially the position that they're actually taking. I could do that. I could point to the Republican Party. How many racists are in the Republican Party? If not the overwhelming majority of the entire party are white supremacists. How many cultists, cults in the past have identified with conservative ideology? Quite a lot of them. Therefore, we can now make the conclusion that anyone who supports capitalism is a cultist and a racist, and everybody in the Republican Party is therefore a cultist and a racist. Now, what's the comparison here? A handful of people who supported the Juche idea in America, or tens of millions of people across the entire world that support right-wing ideologies, including capitalism. In fact, these things are completely incomparable. What's a handful of people compared to tens of millions? In fact, you would have a better argument arguing that capitalism is a racist ide ideology, which it actually is and shouldn't actually be considered really strange considering it's a system completely based on and dependent upon inequality, creating a society of inequality. I know there's going to be some li libertarian is going to make a comment that's not real capitalism, real capitalism wouldn't be racist, blah, 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 but not real capitalism. You know, pick one. What's being done here is essentially taking a few kooks who, by the way, are in America. And they, they put that in the title that they are U.S. Hey, the United States is a messed up place. There's a lot of crazy cults that come from the United States. Rather than admitting that the United States has a problem with cults coming up because of social alienation and a lot of other things, they're going to focus on like one or two of them who supported the Juche idea. They didn't even actually follow it. And sometimes there were people who just said Juche was a good idea and that North Korea should follow it. And then claim they're all like that. When in reality, a lot of these cults are coming out of the United States. That it's a problem of the United States itself and not of Juche. It's not a problem with pro-North Korean people. It's an American problem. Because if you look at the DPRK, pro-DPRK groups in other countries, Canada, Australia, the UK, and whatnot, they're nothing like that. It seems to be focused only on the U.S. that has these, these uh, you know, wacko problems. I mean, what's the deal here? They essentially will take the entire problem that the U.S. has with lunatic fringe groups and then project that on anyone who supports the DPRK, which is tremendously dishonest. But then again, this is nknews.org, which frankly, in my opinion, is nothing more than a slander outlet. Whom, as I've said previously, I've caught lying more than once. So I am, of course, going to link that article in the description and you can waste your life reading it all you want. Obviously, there is a huge argument that I actually can make in it uh, I am in the process of writing a detailed response, but that's going to take a long time because there's a lot of information to go over. This video, in the meantime, is just going to give you a general overview of what it is that, that uh, these people at NK News and Thayer are doing. Completely taking half-truths, twisting them into whatever it is they want, and then just completely ignoring evidence to the contrary, like the fact that actual white supremacist groups in very large numbers said in the millions actually support capitalism and you know hate non-whites which they tend to completely overlook so go ahead read the article and keep in mind the stuff that I've said here and then when I actually get finished writing a whole refutation of the complete and utter disgusting propaganda line that's come out of this uh, agency I'll let you know and then you can read it so I just Wanted to let you know that, and uh, that's all I have to say on it right now.